All right, welcome. I'm Tavleen and I am the Chief of Marketing at ExcelPlugins.com and we're going to be talking about Sales Triggers, which is an ExcelPlugins.com product. And if you want more information, feel free to head out to ExcelPlugins.com forward slash WooCommerce Sales Triggers. So I'm doing a product detail page critique and makeover and it is a very interesting product detail page, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight one major tweak that can be made in this product page using Excel Sales Trigger. As you're aware, there are a very high percentage of people end up abandoning the cart because proper shipment and delivery details are not mentioned, right? So it can be completely disastrous not to tell your shoppers uh, details about uh, the shipment and delivery of the item. What this product detail page has done is that it has indeed shared the information about shipment and delivery with, with their shoppers. So in that context, obviously, it is it is doing the job well. But the problem is, I want to show you what the problem is. Now, if you go on delivery, it gives you, it gives you just a block of content and then leaving it to the shoppers to digest it and to uh, find out the important piece of information for themselves and then it is very confusing as well right so look at this free delivery in the UK will take around three to five business days express and international delivery also available orders received before 11 a.m. Monday to Friday will be processed that day orders received after 11 a.m. are press processed and dispatched the following morning orders placed after 11 a.m. on Friday will be processed for delivery following Monday morning we hold our stock at our factory and are open for local customer pickup so as you can see that there's too much of information stuffed into this sh short paragraph so let me now show you as a WooCommerce store owner how you can take care of all of this so in a very concise format uh, how you can address all these objections of your shoppers and give them this, this information without putting them off right and at the same time create a dollop of urgency on your product detail bit so that they are compelled into the action mode the promise is big, but we're going to live up to it. So let me take you on the back end and let me show you how you can configure this. All right, so this is the back end. Now I've selected guarantee trigger from uh, from this drop down. All right, now what I've done is for your convenience, for our mutual convenience, actually, I have just prefed the details here. So I'm going to take you through them one by one. The first one, so there are three guarantees that we've given here. Three, three of these are activated. The first one, uh, is free shipping right so as you saw that uh, there's free shipping anywhere in the UK right no minimum orders so we've written it very clearly and persuasively that it's hundred percent free shipping for any anywhere in the UK and there are no minimum orders plus we've added this as the built-in icon which is the which is tagged free right so we've chosen one of the icons from here from the drop down here and have chosen this particular icon now the second guarantee is really interesting so it's fast shipping okay and what I've done is, so, so as you saw that it said that if you order before 11 a.m., it will be shipped the same day and it will be delivered between three to five business days, right? So what I've done is order in the next and then here's, I'll tell you, I've used a dynamic merge tag. Now, there are several merge tags here, right? You can, uh, you can choose any one of them. For example, this one, estimated shipping date, current date format or estimated shipping date and then there's an adjustment of four days so what it, it'll do is that it will add four days to the current date right so if the if the if the shopper is placing an order let's say on 15th of april it will say that the estimated delivery date will be 19th of april and add like by adding four days to it so you're most welcome to just copy it and change this right so you can change this to from four to five days right now here is the cutoff time so cutoff time like in that case was 11 a.m cutoff time basically means that uh, what we are telling the system is that if if the order is placed before 6 20 p.m like in this case i'll be able to uh, you know i will be able to deliver it within five days from then right so that is my cutoff day but if it is placed after 6 20 p.m then well then take another action maybe add one more day to it right so that is what you're, you're actually giving command to the system similarly here um, what I've done is that I have chosen this particular merge tag where I've said 
order in the next uh, and get it by yes that's right i've chosen this dynamic merge tag so order in the next and the cutoff time i've added is 11 a.m and uh, uh, and then this is the countdown timer right so i have switched on the countdown timer to tell them that you can order before 11 a.m and there are like let's say two hours 20 minutes 10 seconds to go till it's going to be 11 a.m right so that ways a ticking countdown timer keeps running and keeps creating a sense of urgency getting them to act fast right and get it by and then there is a lag of four days so we're saying that you're going to get it by uh, four days from whenever you're placing the order so i simply picked this up right and pasted this here and then i made some changes like for example i said order in the next and then i changed the cutoff time which was uh, in in that in that merge tag it was 6 20 i did it uh, to 11 a.m and then the format remained everything else remained the same i added here for same day shipping right so if you order before 11 a.m it will be it will be shipped on the very same day get it between and then i added an adjustment factor of plus three days and plus five days so get it between uh, uh let's say if, if this comes out to be 23rd april so get it between 23rd april and 25th april right so that's what i have done here and uh, it is not just concise and consumable at the same time with the, with the ticking down count on timer it also creates a sense of urgency in the mind of the shoppers right so i've chosen a built-in icon from here which is the shipping van i've picked it up from the drop down right to give them a to to instantly let them know that we're talking about shipping here then uh Thirdly, I've added one more guarantee here to say factory pickups available. Like you saw that they had also just completely, uh, you know, uh, they had put that information along with the other information about factory pickups. So I have separated it and made it or and made it uh, noticeable. So factory pickups available. Want it earlier? Local factory pickups available. Order now and pick it up from a London-based factory between seven thirty a.m. and four p.m. Monday to Friday. Right, and I have added this built-in icon of tag open now background color border color text color phones as all of these are configurable options right so let me show you how it appears on the front end so i'm going to update this we're going to refresh this right as you can see that a noticeable guarantee box has come right below the add to cart button you have the option to change the position of this guarantee box i placed it uh, beneath the add to cart button i'll just show you where, how you can change this so this is free shipping 100 percent free shipping uh anywhere in the uk no minimum orders then there's fast shipping as you can see it says order in the next 15 hours 53 minutes 57 seconds so just for your reference uh it's it's uh, uh, right now it's in uh, uh, so right now the time is 7 p.m okay so uh, there are 15 hours uh, still to go till it will be 11 a.m right so that is exactly what it is doing it is running a countdown timer till it is 11 a.m right for same day shipping get it between this now what will happen is that once we've passed the threshold so once we've passed the cutoff time once it's 11 a.m the countdown timer will get reset okay and the next uh, the, the cutoff time will automatically change to next day is 11 a.m right now get it between 20th so this is get it between three to five business days right so three days from now so again just to set the context today is 17th april right so that's 17 plus uh, three days is 20th april and 17 plus five is 22nd april right and then this is a nice little tag here which says factory pickups available so again we've broken down the information in a very very concise manner created a sense of urgency uh, uh for the shoppers and giving them a very clear information with the dates of when they're going to get it delivered so this was the original one so again there are no dates just a very very bland way of presenting information and since it's like all um, it muddled up it, it's actually very confusing to find out what's that important piece of information for me right it doesn't take into account the day when i am coming and visiting the store right so definitely this one uh, can be easily beaten by this one and it gives uh, information to the shoppers in a very concise manner and in a very digestible manner i hope that you enjoyed it if you if you did please do not forget to head out to uh, i'll show you excelplugins.com forward slash woocommerce sales triggers okay and once you head out to that you're gonna find 
uh, what all Excel sales, uh, uh, the Excel sales triggers can do for you. you. You can set up countdown timer to create urgency. You can show stock status. You can show potential savings that your shoppers can be making and give uh, guarantees to show your commitment towards your product and store and do a whole lot of more things which make your product page, product detail page psychologically persuasive. So go ahead and explore. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was a great learning experience for you and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did delivering this. Thank you.